Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally going to sit here and talk about everything related to pregnancy. So while I was pregnant, I had quite the roller coaster. I ended up gaining a lot of weight through the second half of my pregnancy. I developed stretch marks all over my body. So a lot of people have asked me what I did to lose the baby weight. But the first thing that I did want to talk about is all of the stretch marks and when I got them, how I got them and the process of them now not being, well they are still here but you can't see them. So I think because not a lot of people on Instagram experience that drastic rapid growth of stretch marks and people definitely don't show them. I did get a lot of love, a lot of DMs, um, people praising that I was open. So when I was about 19, 20 weeks pregnant, I posted a photo of my belly and my belly had gotten really big and my bump started to pop and this was when I had just started to gain like the normal baby weight and before I started to gain the weight I didn't have any stretch marks and I remember posting this photo on my Instagram saying in this many weeks I haven't got any stretch marks because I've been using my creams and oils religiously and at this point I was still so ignorant in believing all of these theories that if you put your cream and oil on you're not going to get stretch marks so as much as I believe it could help, girls that go online and say they didn't get stretch marks because of the oils have nothing to do with that. And I'm not just saying it because I'm bitter that I got stretch marks, but it's the truth. Look it up. It's genetics. There are people that can go through their entire pregnancy without putting a drop of oil on their body and they might not even get one stretch mark. Whereas there are people like me. I was oiling my body every day religiously from the day I found out I was pregnant to the day I gave birth and I still got stretch marks everywhere. So my mom got stretch marks not as bad as I did and I didn't even know. So when I did get my stretch marks my mom was like it's fine. I got them they fade and I'm like you didn't get them and then she showed me up close and I'm like oh my god she did. It's just that they end up fading so much that it's like they never existed and I wish I knew that when I was pregnant. So you hear all about postpartum depression and like depression after you give birth. But what they don't tell you about is depression when you're pregnant. You have all of these hormonal um, emotions. I would cry every single day. I'm not really talking about the weight gain, more the stretch marks. Because as you guys know, weight is temporary. You can gain weight, you can lose it. That's very, very much in your control. And I knew that my weight gain was because of me because I wasn't eating well. So for me, it was more the stretch marks because it was something that was out of my control. And that's what was really scary for me. So in today's video, I'm going to include a lot of photos never before seen. So obviously there's the photos that you guys have seen on my stories, on my social media. But I'm going to include a lot of stuff that you guys have never seen. So these will be Snapchats that I just sent to Ricky or like my friends. So for me to get to my body after pregnancy, I just need to give you guys a little background of what happened during pregnancy. So this video here is when I found my first stretch mark. So this is my belly right now. It's so big. And there's my stretch marks, if you're wondering. Oh well. But they were just growing at the speed of light. And I don't think it was actually the weight gain. I think it was my body adjusting to growing for pregnancy so i was really small i had size four hips which is like a size zero in us like 23 inch ways my body had to expand so my hips had to expand my rib cages expanded a lot so for me the weight gain wasn't the issue it was the stretch marks so they started coming in and they just got worse and worse every single week on my bum my sides so the ones on my bum and my hips were growing so rapidly and they were so dark and i would cry when I kid you not, every single day I cried, the physical appearance just really got to me and I felt like I wasn't seeing this online. I never saw these Instagram mums experience this. So I'm going to show you guys this photo of when I just gave birth. So my belly was still really big, so don't judge. So this photo here was my stretch marks just after I've given birth, hence why my belly was sticking out like that. But this is how they looked up until probably a few months after and then they started going down and down and down until now. Let me find a photo. So this is my body now so you guys can see I, I don't have any stretch marks showing on my body anymore. I'm wearing a bodysuit and there's all marks on me but you guys can 
probably see, I don't know. I still have the stretch marks, they're just the same color as my skin now. So when I'm wearing a bikini and this, you're like looking at me up close with a microscope, you cannot see them. So I did a treatment called Fractoral, Fractional Laser. I did the treatment with Shireen Sayed, which is a skin boutique in Sydney. So when I was first pregnant, I started researching like stretch mark removal. So as soon as they came, I was thinking, okay, there has to be something out there, some sort of surgery or treatment that is going to get rid of the stretch marks. So I kept pinning my hopes on there being some miracle treatment. So I started researching treatments. I just felt like it was something that I wanted to do because it was an insecurity of mine. Now, fast forward, I am one and a half years postpartum and I don't even look or think about the stretch marks even though they are still there very faint when I tell you guys there is not 1% of me that actually still cares about them I mean it so with my boobs I also got stretch marks on my boobs they changed pretty drastically so for me I had like a full B cup so I always had really small boobs but they sat up high and then they got so big when I was pregnant especially when I was breastfeeding and I was like okay cool I have big boobs now and then as soon as I finished breastfeeding they went back down and now like I'm not gonna lie they're really tiny I've thought about having them done but it's not something like I said the only thing that I was actually insecure about was the stretch marks I wasn't insecure about the weight gain I wasn't insecure about my boobs going big and then really small maybe after I've had another child or another two kids I'll think about it maybe I'll do it I don't know but I did get stretch marks on them but like I said just like the ones on my stomach they were never really that obvious and you could never really see unless it was like a HD photo or you're really looking I feel like every time I upload a picture showing my body people ask me if I photoshopped my stretch marks out I didn't it's just that now you really can't see them that is basically everything about the stretch marks and now we're going to move on to how I lost the weight okay so in my first half of the pregnancy up until four or five months um, pregnant I didn't gain like any weight and I was doing these maternity hauls here on YouTube like I said you can go back and watch them I still looked pretty fit even when I had my bum showing so when the nausea and morning sickness went away and I started to feel comfortable coming back online I started to gain a lot of weight when I tell you guys these never before seen photos are something else I'm telling you guys, there's something else. So this photo was days before I gave birth. I have to crop out my head because it looks so bad. So this was a hot day. I was at my parents' house swimming. Look at my belly. Look at my back rolls. Look at the size of my legs, my arms. I don't know if you guys can see my double chin. I'll try and show you guys without like cropping too much. But I was huge. So at this point, I was almost 30 kilos above my pre-pregnancy weight. So you guys know... You should only gain around 10 kilos, is that like 20 pounds, when you're pregnant. You should not really be gaining more than that because there's the baby, the fluids, and then everything else is literally just fat. So I literally gained over 20 kilos of pure fat on my body. I have always been really, really petite, really fast metabolism. I've just never had a lot of body fat. So what would happen is, is that I would always cook for Ricky. Ricky loves his home cooked meals and I'd want to have hot chips and I'd want to have a burger or I'd want to have pizza. I loved pepperoni pizza when I was pregnant. So for me, I just craved really bad foods and I gave in way too easy. I didn't have any willpower. So for me, that was my biggest issue with why I gained so much weight. So I actually really ate well most of my pregnancy. I cooked dinner every night. You know, Ricky's mum, my mum still cooked for me twice a week when we'd go over for dinner. So you guys, I worked really hard to lose that weight and I will get into what I did now and I'm really happy to say that it was nothing crazy that I did. I didn't slay too hard in the gym. I didn't starve myself. I literally just went for walks every day. So I'm gonna literally show you guys some clips of what I did so um, when I was living in my first house, mine and Ricky's old house, that we have now sold, you guys know we're building a new house. I had a treadmill in the garage and every single day I would walk. So I would put my headphones in and I would go in the garage and I would walk. So I walked both on the treadmill and just like around my neighborhood. So I'm walking with ankle weights today. We're going on a nice big walk. I need to burn those legs. I used to put Ava in the pram and go for really, really 
long walks back when she'd just sleep all day. So that really, really helped me lose weight. I did have a gym membership, but I really didn't go to the gym all that much. I literally maybe went once a week. And because I had diocese recti, so that is abdominal separation, I couldn't even work out a lot. So with my weight loss, it was literally all cardio or walking. So like I said, I would walk around maybe like one hour walks and just play music on my phone. But then I also had the ability to just exercise at night. Say when Ricky was just watching TV, chilling with Ava, I would put some music on. I would get in the zone on that treadmill. So I would literally like scroll through Instagram, look at girls, hot bodies look at my old photos and it really motivated me so i definitely would have maybe gone in the gym and do done weights but for me it wasn't healthy for my stomach for me to be working hard and i would wear this band so i didn't wear like a proper waist trainer because it wasn't recommended but i would wear this like um velcro faha thing that I got off Amazon. I will insert a picture of what I used to wear. So I would sweat underneath it, but it also helps shrink your stomach. So I would wear this Faha pretty much every time I went grocery shopping, I would wear it under my clothes because you really have to focus on keeping your core tight for it to come back together. So if I was bending over at the shops or picking up Ava or whatever, I knew that I'd have that support on my midsection. And guys, still to this day, my stomach isn't completely tight. And if I eat anything, the bottom half of my stomach sticks out. The reason why it does that is because when you develop diocese recti, recti which is abdominal separation, your muscles pull apart and all your organs and your stomach and everything literally just hangs. So for me, I found walking and wearing that Faha physically are the two things that really just helped me get my shape and body back. So the way that I worked out after pregnancy is quite different to how I worked out before pregnancy. So I'm going to insert this photo. This was right before I fell pregnant, like probably two weeks before I fell pregnant, I'd say. So this photo was taken, I'm not even joking, weeks before I fell pregnant because looking at the date, I felt pregnant like the end of that month. So my stomach was super tight and toned. I remember looking at my body like, damn, I look toned, but I still look curvy. Like I was just really happy. Then I felt pregnant. Now, when it came down to what I ate, I feel like whether it's pregnancy weight or just normal weight gain, it honestly comes down mostly to what you eat. Obviously, exercise plays a huge part, but you guys know the way weight gain works is calories in versus calories out. So when I was pregnant, I was obviously eating so many calories and not even moving. So when I was trying to lose the weight, I knew that I had to burn so many calories walking and running. I was also running a lot of the time, mostly on the treadmill. But when I was on the treadmill, I would pump the incline up and turn the speed up and I would literally like run up a hill. So I was making sure that I wasn't eating as many calories as I was burning. But in saying that, I was still breastfeeding for over six months. So I had to make sure that I was eating enough to produce milk, but then not too much that I would continue to gain weight or that I wouldn't stay the same because I needed to eat less calories to lose weight. So for the first six months postpartum, my diet was literally for every morning, I would have only a breastfeeding cookie for breakfast. So I can't remember the brand that I got, but I would buy these like lactation cookies and they were like big cookies. So when I was pregnant, I thought, okay, if I'm gonna like eat less, let's eat something that can still benefit my breastfeeding. So I would have one of those cookies every single morning for breakfast. So I was just eating home cooked meals. I think the thing is, is that like a lot of people go and get like Hello Fresh or, you know, these like pre-made meals, but they're never going to be as good as what you cook yourself. And we were eating really good. Like we would have steak and veggies or we would have like chicken and salad. So we were just eating very like solid, healthy food. And my portions were always smaller. I've started bike riding with Ricky. So we ride our bikes like Ricky rides every day, but I probably ride like two or three times a week. And I find that's really helped me now too. However, that's not what I did postpartum, but it actually is a really good alternative. So if you get bored walking or if you have someone to mind your child for half an hour to an hour, I really do recommend bike riding. So it is a lot more athletic. You're using more muscles. So if you want to tone up a little bit, that's a really good way as well. So for me, it was a factor of a few things together that helped me get back to where I was. And that was one, obviously, just walking, 
keeping active, going on the treadmill, walking is what helped me lose the weight. Obviously, eating smaller portions and eating healthy home cooked meals and wearing the waist trainer. So like I said, for the first few months, I wasn't wearing like an actual like latex clip waist trainer. That really, really helped my core come back together and heal that abdominal separation. I definitely recommend wearing a waist trainer. I wasn't recommended to wear it right away because they say like it can damage your core more if you wear it too soon. So I waited like a month before I started wearing it and then I really took it seriously. So that was really important too. So like I said, guys, this is just my story and my experience. You will find there are people that bounce back within a week. If you aren't seeing results, don't stress out because it takes time. And the amount of times that people told me like nine months in versus nine months out. And I was like, oh, don't tell me that again. But then now it's funny because that's literally the exact advice I give people when they tell me or ask me about postpartum so anything that i did do or use during this whole postpartum journey i will list down below and obviously you guys want to know what i eat so i am going to be filming a what i eat in a day every single time that i post something that i'm cooking on my story people ask for a video um, you guys know I, I've been promising for so long that I'm going to start doing cooking videos. So I'm going to show you guys what I eat in a day to lose weight because the whole point of this video is to let you guys know what it is that I had eaten to lose the weight. So I promise you guys the next video is going to be what I eat in a day. I'm going to show you guys what I eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks. I remember taking this video one morning and I was like, yes, she is back. I remember I just like the way that my legs look. I felt toned, I just felt good. So guys, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, but you just have to trust the process. And I know it's so easy to look at someone's journey and be like, why is that mine the same? Because you guys, I did it and I still do it. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I was able to help some of you going through the same thing. And hopefully I was able to maybe teach you guys something if you plan to get pregnant in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.